Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest, we truly serve an awesome God. A God who loves us, a God who watches over us, a God who gives us everything we need to truly enjoy this life. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Philippians chapter 1, beginning at verse 9. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. You know, that's the Apostle Paul writing to the Philippians, but I think that's a prayer that we could all take to heart. I think we could all say that, that knowing the Apostle Paul and his love for people, that he would pray that same prayer for us today. And I think we should pray that same prayer for each other. Listen, listen to it again. It just speaks to me today. That your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Is that your heart's desire? Is that what you want today? Do you want your life to be full of Christ, full of righteousness, full of the fruits of righteousness uh, until the day of Christ comes? That's what I want in my life. I want to be a blessing to people. I want people to to uh, to have an interaction with me that praises God, that, that they are thankful to God, uh, not for me, but because of the Holy Spirit, because of the fruits of righteousness that come from it. Now, I know that I'm not perfect, and there's a whole long list of things that have made me unperfect and uh, unrighteous and all those things. But because of Jesus Christ and his grace in my life, I can be made righteous. Because of Jesus Christ and his love for me and, and because of uh, the transforming work of the Holy Spirit in my life, I can be like him. I can point people to him, not to, to my glory, but to, but to his glory. I can choose for me to live a life that, that honors him and honors people. You know, as we look around this great big world, the the media, uh, for sure, and, and certain groups of people want to um, alienate one another. They want to cause division. They want to cause separation. But the word of Jesus is love. The word of Jesus is unity. The word of Jesus is, let's do this together. Let's be in this together. Let's love one another. You know, we all have a past. We all have things we, we feel bad about. Um, but let's move forward together. I want to lift you up, and I want you to lift me up, and, and I want us to move forward realizing that, yeah, we're all sinners, we're all saved by grace, but because of God's grace, we can love one another even when we disagree. So whether you know we're upset about the color of the carpet in the church, or whether we're upset about um, you know how this looks or that looks, or you know what's our favorite and what's not our favorite, or, or blah, blah, all those different things that can come up, let's focus on what we have together, the love of Christ. I want to be able to look at every other human being and see that God has created them. I know that we are tainted. I know that especially news stories can paint a light of people that, that sit with us. I know that we can start making generalities about people based on uh, things that we shouldn't. But let's just try to love one another. Let's try to love and remember that God created them. And because God created them, there is some, some love within them. And even those who might be the worst of the worst, the maybe the criminals on death row or whatever, I don't know, whatever would be the worst of the worst. Let's decide to love them today. But even if we don't make contact with them, even if we, we can't, let's pray for them today. Let's love them and pray in hopes that the love of God will reach their hearts. I want to be about serving others today. I hope you do too. But whatever you're going through, trust that God loves you. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your great love that loved us in the midst of our of our sin and of our worseness. Father, we just pray right now that you would that your love would permeate within us and flow out to those around us. That as we come in contact with people who may dislike us, even hate us, who want to persecute us or even kill us, uh, even though that's not too likely here today, Father, we just pray that your love would reach their hearts. We pray for the worst of the worst, for the people that would be on uh, death row, for people in prisons, for people who are um, racist or biased or all those things that on purpose who made those choices we pray oh lord that your love would penetrate their hearts that they would no longer be about division and separation and alienation but their lives too would be about unity may we come together as a world in your love and may your love reach the farthest corners of the world father it seems impossible and by human standards it is but by your standards things these things can happen father help us to be faithful to follow you today father please bless those who need a special blessing whether it's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, even financial, whatever the case is, would you bless each one according to your will, 
and may that bring you praise. We ask for these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. There you have it. God loves you. We are praying for you today. May the righteousness of God and the fruits of the Spirit show through your life. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.